Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. I'm Adam Eco. Well, we've moved up Spanish Fork Canyon, Diamond Fork to be exact, where biologists are surveying amphibians. And they're really looking for one particular amphibian, one that's native to Utah and is listed as sensitive by our DWR. I'm sorry you guys had to wait so long before you saw eggs. <laughs> biologists are wading through the wetlands in Diamond Fork Canyon looking for these. Columbia spotted frog eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know there's at least six there. So we count the eggs as a surrogate to uh, counting the adults directly. Each of these balls contain about two to 500 eggs. Adult Columbia spotted frogs are, well, hard to spot. So biologists count their eggs to give them a rough idea of the population. That's one mass right there that started out like about the size of a golf ball. Central Utah is about the southern end of the spotted frogs range. In Utah, their numbers are depleted. That's why the DWR has designated the Columbia spotted frog a species of greatest conservation need. And that's why these biologists are out here monitoring their population. Making sure that there's enough of this kind of wetland habitat, certainly a key aspect of trying to conserve them. And there's just been a lot of loss of wetlands, you know, almost wherever you go. And, um, and that's the reason for the restoration effort that's been done here. In 2003, the Utah Reclamation Mitigation and Conservation Commission built some of these ponds in Diamond Fork Canyon in an effort to increase habitat for the frogs. Biologists monitor these ponds to determine if they are being utilized by the spotted frog. It's fun to see them. It's kind of like a prize, you know. It's like, yeah. We're trying to get some idea of how well those ponds are working. Are they helping to, to bolster the population? <laughs> relative to prior to those efforts. What the goal is really is to certainly make sure we don't lose this population, but we'd also like to grow the population and expand the range, you know, even outside and of these areas and back into areas where they don't occur presently, but they did historically. The largest threat that they face, oh, there you and it's certainly a big factor here, is how much habitat they have. They obviously need water. But if you have a series of four, five, six really dry years, a site like this could be gone. Some of them make them through those dry times, some of them don't. But there are other threats. You know, water quality, you know, is an issue. Chytridiomycosis is a fungus that spread from Asia to basically all parts of the world, including here. Our native frogs are virtually all affected by it. Bullfrogs, you know, that are native to the eastern part of the country but have spread out here. They predate on them, you know, they can outcompete them. It's kind of nice that they're pushing it, you know. They're pushing their distribution here and we like to keep them here because once, you know, if they were gone from Utah, it would just be something we lost that we didn't need to. It's not necessary. It's like we could still have them if we play our cards right. Keith and Jordan will continue their survey over the next few weeks and come and survey hopefully more eggs, more eggs from the Columbia spotted frog. It's kind of neat for me and hopefully for you to know that our biologists are out there making sure that native species continue to thrive here in Utah. Hopefully you get a chance to see one in the wilds.